Hello my little readers and welcome back to another episode of Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. Now are you sitting comfortably? Yes? Then let's begin. This week's book is Bertie the Very Blind Bat Written by Joanne Moore and illustrated by Michelle Gemmel Published by Hoka Publishing and this is from The Bit Different Collection. This is Bertie Bat. Bats have great sight. Not Bertie the Bat. Not even at night. Ever since he was born, he was unable to see. Forever flying into things or perched on the wrong tree. While he'd love better vision, and he wishes for that. Bertie's eyesight doesn't stop him from being a typical bat. Shriek! I'm a super bat with the shriekiest squeal. My ears can hear silence. My wings are strong as steel. Bertie flies super fast. He has a good sense of smell. His hearing is supersonic and his teeth sharp as well. But Bertie gets frustrated at his lack of precision and the mistakes that he makes due to his poor vision. He has been caught in branches and once flew into a chimney pot. His other senses can't always save him, though they often help a lot. I am a super bat with the shriekiest squeal. My ears can hear silence. My wings are strong as steel. But then came the day. Well, it was actually night. But Bertie got into trouble and had quite a fright. What he thought was a cave turned out to be the boot of a van. As he accidentally flew into it, the doors were closed by a man. Poor Bertie was stuck in unfamiliar surroundings. No food, no friends, his little heart pounding. I'm not a super bat, just a bat with no sight. A blind super bat. Now that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Bertie stretched his spindly fingers to find a hanging platform. He hung wrapped in his wings to try and keep himself warm. A small tear he shed, it rolled down his furry cheek. Then he suddenly remembered how shriekishly he could squeak. He gripped his perch firmly, his claws holding on tight, getting him ready to fall straight into flight. I am a super bat with the shriekiest squeal. My ears can hear silence. My wings are strong as steel. He heard sounds outside, so knew someone was near. He thought, if I screech really loudly, perhaps someone will hear. An almighty screech that made the van shake. The turn of a handle and... Bertie escaped. Shriek! Flying at such speed, with his wings stretched out wide, Bertie's senses had saved him and he shouted with pride. I'm a blind super bat with senses so refined, brave and intelligent, one of a kind. His impeccable hearing, his rip-roaring song, his own superpowers were what he needed all along. We are all a bit different and the world would be bleak if everyone was the same, not special or unique. Bertie may be different and unable to see, but his bravery is inspirational. Wouldn't you agree? And you can see a poster on a tree and it reads, Superbat escapes being trapped in the back of a van. 
receives bravery award. Well, well done, Bertie Bat. The end. And Joanne, our lovely author, has written at the back, dedicated to anyone who is a little bit different, knows someone who is a little bit different, feels a little bit different, and even those who would like to be a little bit different. Hallie, Kennedy, Oliver and Austin, you are all so special. Bertie, the Very Blind Bat, is the first book in the Bit Different collection, a selection of children's stories which help to promote inclusivity, encourage acceptance and raise awareness about all kinds of differences. Well, isn't that marvellous? Thank you, Joanne, for sharing this wonderful book with us. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please remember to subscribe and like our page so you are notified about when our next story is live. We hope to see you very soon. Have a wonderful week. Goodbye from me and goodbye from Patrick. See you soon. Want him to be a superhero. I'm a super bat. Yes, okay. I am a super bat with this. Well, I hope you did too. And, well, I don't know what I'm saying.